Hey, what's up everybody? Neo here. Today I'm going to show you how to switch back and forth between your two most recent apps. Now, on the Play Store, there are countless app switchers, but let's be honest, more often than not, you're only switching between the last app you were in. So, much like the last or previous button on a remote control that lets you jump between two channels on your television, um, there's an application that enables this on your Android device, and it's called Last last app switcher now it's basic it's not heavy other app switchers have a drawer you need to pull out or some obtrusive thing on your screen that you need to tap to access and use it this is a uh, pretty easy to use it's small it's it's it doesn't really serve as an eyesore on your screen or anything so first thing you want to do is install it then you're just going to enable it so it's on and then there's some minor preferences but as you can see the bubbles right here and you can actually move it wherever you see fit on your screen and it's out of the way alright so the first setting is um, automatically snaps to the nearest edge of the screen not a big deal the one you want to focus on is home screen application excluded from the app switcher so you turn this on and it will not switch you to home it will actually exclude home from being one of the apps you switch to so it won't be included in a recent app because you do have a home button on your device anyways and then the last one is um, boot um, sorry activate upon restarting or booting your device so basically just keeping it on always um, so let's go ahead and show you how to use it so like I said you can move it around it's always going to be there let's say I'm in let's say I'm using Twitter and I'm tapping on links and I'm using now I'm on my browser now let's say I just want to go back well let's just go a little bit deeper so now I'm in here now I don't want to have to bring up my my app switcher just to go back to Twitter when I could just tap this and now I'm back in Twitter and it's in a second so it's definitely convenient I mean you can find different ways of using it or needing to use it but definitely check out the full guide links are provided and don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more useful videos thanks